lines, whatever, and you know, in common, and we still are able to just work together. And I love that. And I seriously can't wait to hug your neck at convention and just have so much fun with you. And um, anyway, so just I just wanted to thank you. So my name is Lauren, and like she said, I'm from Frisco, Texas, and um, I've lived in the North Dallas area. Frisco is about 45 minutes north of Dallas, and I've lived there for the last, oh, about 15, 16 years, and um, it's definitely become home, and so I have an 11-year-old daughter and have been married for 15 years next week, and um, we just, you know, have a great little life going, so um, she said that she wasn't going to mention what I did for a living, which is kind of funny. I'm like, okay, so how do I, what's the big reveal on that? Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's too big to miss. No. <laughs> Um, no, I actually am a former elementary teacher, and um, I was a special populations reading instructor, and um, actually have my master's in reading. I did that all the way up until this sweet little baby girl was put into my arms, and I went, yep, nope, done. <laughs> I'm here. So I was a stay-at-home mama for a really long time, and in that time, two things happened. One, my health began to worsen, which it was already bad to begin with, so it got even worse. And two, I found my passion in health and fitness. And those two things kind of coincided because in an effort to try to feel better, lose weight, not feel so Ugh, all the time, and not feel that way about myself, I started to work out more. I really found a home in the gym and I had just so many friends and, and really enjoyed it. Like I'm the weird person that says I actually enjoy working out. Like I love it and I miss it when I can't do it, um, which everyone's like, that's, that's weird and whatever, <laughs> you got your thing. Um, but so in that time, I began to just really fall in love with that. And I also really began to become an advocate for my own health. I dealt with my entire life, like I can't remember a time when I didn't deal with it, chronic fatigue horrible sleep patterns where it would either take me forever to fall asleep at night or I'd wake up in the middle of the night and not be able to go back to sleep for hours. And I always had to have a nap. I literally planned my day around when I was going to take my nap. And that was a daily occurrence for sure my whole life. Um, I always had allergies. I always had skin issues. I had digestive problems. And then the real big kicker that just kept getting worse and worse was my hormonal issues. My cycle was all over the place. My, my baby girl who's 11 now is, thank the Lord, a product of Clomid, and thank the Lord that there's only one, um, because it wasn't until after I took Clomid that I realized all of the um, possibilities that could come with that. <laughs> so um, my health just started to get worse and worse, and I was finally, I knew that I was hypothyroid. I'd been diagnosed with that after I had her. Um, and, you know, as so many people that have thyroid issues, they say you're hypothyroid, they give you the medication for it, you're told when to take it, and that's all they do. And then for the next however many years, they keep telling you that you're totally normal, and meanwhile, you're going... I'm so not normal. If this is normal, I don't want to be normal. And um, if you've had thyroid issues, I know you can relate. And so I kept being an advocate of my health. I kept looking into natural ways to heal the thyroid, natural ways to increase, um, you know, natural metabolism, natural ways to help sleep and cortisol and all that kind of stuff. What ways to eat? What ways to work out? Well, all of that came to a head in the spring just about six years ago when I finally, because of my um, persistence, I finally was diagnosed with PCOS. And that is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It means that basically my ovaries are chocolate chip cookies full of little over full of little cysts. And that creates a host of hormonal problems. And I literally could go down the list and check every single one off. I mean, I had it all, the hair loss, the skin problems, the nail problems, the fatigue, the joint problems, the fatigue, all of it. I mean, all of it. I had it all. And so from there, all of that, you know, passion from fitness and, and being an advocate for my health, I began to funnel into PCOS knowledge and figure out what was the best thing for my body to do. Not because not be the long distance runner that I have always been. I've done countless half marathons, a full marathon, so many 10Ks and 5Ks, I can't even count. 
And I knew that that was bad for me. And so I really stopped doing that. I stopped eating grains and dairy and a lot of sugar and took on really, um, it's a blood type protocol, but it's the paleo diet is a really easy way to say that. I changed my diet, overhauled my workouts, really started giving myself some good self care. And, you know, things started to turn around and I started to feel great and it was awesome. And that was perfect for about six months until it just stopped working anymore. And my body kept saying, yeah, no, you're going to have to do more to feel great. And I kept restricting my diet more and I kept changing my workouts more and it just wasn't helping. And I was beyond frustrated because I was doing everything that me now as a fitness instructor, you guys, I was a fitness instructor and I felt like tar and I'm telling everybody, you just have to eat right and work out. And I was eating right and working out and I felt horrible. I felt horrible. And lo and behold, that was about the time that I started seeing these crazy posts from my friends saying she'd lost like 30, 40 pounds with some pink drink. And me being the fitness instructor, the health nut that I am, I was like, well, there's no way there's anything good in that. And so I looked into Plexus for the very first time, not because I was interested, but because I was a good friend and I was going to find out what ingredients were terrible for her and let her know. <laughs> So <laughs> that's what any good friend would do, right? <laughs> so I looked into Slim and Accelerator and I kind of had this weird eat your words moment because I was like, well, there's nothing bad in there. <laughs> everything's good. In fact, everything's really good. And it was this light bulb moment because I knew what PCOS dealt with. I knew it de dealt with blood sugar regulation. I knew it de dealt with hormonal reg regulation. And I thought, my gosh, what if this could help me? Well, I was the most skeptical person. If you can imagine the most skeptical person you've ever talked to about any of the Plexus products or business, I was that girl. I didn't want it. I thought it was too expensive. I thought I literally, you guys, I went to Sprouts and I thought I could recreate it. I took the ingredients from Slim and I recreated it. And I tried taking all these pills and powders for about four days before I was like, this is for the birds. And I don't even know how much money I spent. So I did everything I could to not face the fact that this could actually help me. When I finally did, I bought a seven day trial. After seven days, I told my sponsor that it did not work, that it tasted fine, but that it was too expensive and it didn't do anything for me. Well, about four days after that week, I realized that I really hadn't taken a nap that week. I really hadn't munched in the afternoons like I always did. I woke up a little bit easier with a spring in my step and I didn't need as much coffee as I always did. And so that just kind of kept circulating in the back of my head. Well, maybe I just needed more time. Maybe I just needed more time. I know now that if you have metabolic disorders, you need more time. Your body just processes at a slower rate. So if you're working with someone with thyroid issues or um, diabetes or blood sugar issues, or PCOS or any of those kinds of things, they just need more time. That's all it is. Um, and so I am so thankful that my sponsor kept posting testimonials, information, because it took me another two months, you guys, two months of seeing those testimonials where I finally went, all right, maybe I should just give it a little bit more of a try, maybe. And y'all, I'm so thankful that I got over the price. I got over myself and I just said, fine, whatever, <laughs> let's do this. And I literally bought it as a birthday present to myself, October in 2013. It took me two months to realize this stuff was game changing for me. Um, I started to sleep like I'd never slept before. My skin cleared up. Y'all, my cycle came back normally for the first time in my entire life, one month after I started slim. And it has been 100% normal, regular, every month for the last four and a half years since then. That, to me, is a miracle of my body's healing. Um, because I've never been able to say that before. I just started to notice a lot of little things that just got better. And I was starting to tell people. Now, I've done two other network marketing companies. I love some of their products. But I knew what that was all about. And it was not for me. I did not want to be that girl. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want the meetings. I didn't want all of that. And, but I knew I wanted the cheaper price 
And I knew I was starting to tell people about it because it was a quality product because I believed in what it was doing for me and I believed in the quality of the products. And so I was starting to share that with people already and I thought, oh my gosh, I might as well get paid, right? <laughs> so I'm a smart enough businesswoman, I can say that. <laughs> so I very skeptically asked my sponsor five zillion questions and I finally signed up at the very end of 2013 to be an ambassador, only to get the cheapest price and only to tell a few close friends that I knew it would benefit them. That was it. That's all I wanted. I didn't want anything else. <laughs> well, 72 hours later, I had covered the cost of enrollment. I was starting to turn a profit. And about four days after that, I was silver. <laughs> so <laughs> needless to say, it went very, very fast. And that's why I always say it's an accidental business because I did not mean to grow a business. I really didn't. And I think it's just because the products speak for themselves, my testimony spoke for itself, and my character. People knew me to be someone who tells the truth, who knows about their, you know, knew, knows what they're talking about, even if it's just a small amount. And so they knew they could trust me, right? So if my business kept on growing, kind of without me doing much of anything. <laughs> it just happened. And, and I say that, of course I was doing stuff. Of course I was. I, uh, those early days, I was tremendously busy. But um, it, it just sort of grew. And it wasn't until I went to convention five months later, and that's why I always encourage people to go to convention. I went to convention in Dallas. The only reason I went was because I'd earned enough prizes that it was free, and I was going to go to winner's dinner. And um, it was in Dallas, so I didn't have to travel anywhere. <laughs> so I literally showed up for the days of convention. I only spent the night one night, and I had a room full of three other people. <laughs> and... Um, it was at convention that year that something just lit a fire in me. I saw the vision of the company. I saw just the effectiveness of the products, the quality of the products, how well run the business was. And I fell in love. I was like, this is something I can get behind. These people are single handedly changing one life at a time in a very easy, very consistent, very duplicatable and very necessary way. And I fell in love with that. It became my passion to talk to as many people as I could about this because I saw not only the product freedom and the health freedom, but I saw the financial freedom. And, you know, I was in a position, I didn't have to do this for the money. I didn't need a supplemental business. I mean, I needed a little bit of money. I wanted a new car and I wanted to take a little burden off my husband. Maybe I'll be able to go get my nails done. But I didn't need it. But what I began to realize, especially after that convention, it was called Plexus Freedom. And I began to realize that there was such a bigger freedom involved in being an ambassador that I had never thought about. With the earnings that I was getting from my Plexus business, I was not only able to create a financial cushion for my family, be able to do some fun things that we wouldn't normally have been able to do, have that family time, but we could set away savings. We could travel as a family, which we hadn't been able to do, but most importantly, we were able to give like we had never been able to give. I am just, I'm a giver. <laughs> I, I really love to help people. It's what I'm called to do. And so it brings me no better joy than when someone is in need for me, able, for me to be able to drop whatever not think of what of you know the consequences and just say yeah I can help you what do you need what do you need where do I need to go what do I need to get and I love that I love the freedom of being able to do that and as my business has grown I'm now an emerald ambassador I've been able to dream even bigger of a freedom I never imagined for our family my goal my daughter is in sixth grade she is going to be out of her house I don't want to think about it in five years. God willing, she'll be in college and she'll be out of our house in five years. I would love no more than to retire my husband from his corporate job and us be able to financially afford to live off of my earnings, travel, go see her, let him do that side job he's always wanted to do. You know, he's got a few things he's always wanted to do and he's just never been able to. That's my dream. And 
I mean, five years ago, if you would have said, hey, what do you think? Is this a possibility? I would have laughed in your face. I would have been like, are you kidding me? No, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> and now I can, and I love Plexus for that. So this truly has become my passion, is helping others find that same success, that same freedom, whether it's health freedom, weight loss, just feeling good in their own skin, or growing a business and being financially free. I love that. I love, love, love that. Now, my business tip for you guys, I'm going to kind of detour just a little bit, and then I promise we're going to get back to it, okay? So I told you that in my former life, I always say, you know, Mark calls it before the, before the breakup because it was like a massive breakup with food and with lifestyle when I was diagnosed with PCOS, right? Okay, so we say before the breakup. So before the breakup, I was a long distance runner. I would run on a weekend easily 9, 11 miles on a weekday. I mean, I ran probably about 30, 40 miles an hour a week, uh, 40, 30 or 40 miles a week. Um, I loved it. And, and I still say I can clear, I can solve the world's problems on a good long run. Like there's something about a long run that just makes my brain think. I don't know what it is. And so every once in a while, I'm like, I got to just get outside. I got to go for a run. Um, so early, early on, um, I'm going to go back way far. I was completely sedentary, like a hundred percent sedentary before I had my daughter. So 2001, I was 100% sedentary, did nothing. Um, and I gave up a lot. I gave up on a lot of things. I would start something and I would decide it was too hard and I would give up. Well, I'm big for making New Year's resolutions and I always, being a teacher, there are always smart goals. So I made a resolution that year to pick the hardest thing that I could think of doing and complete it in that calendar year. <laughs> well, Considering I couldn't run to the mailbox, the hardest thing I could think of doing was running a marathon. <laughs> I'm a little crazy. I'm going to admit it. <laughs> so that was January 1st. And in January of that next year, we ran the Carlsbad, Carlsbad California Marathon. Mark and I both did it. Mark's my husband. Mark and I both did it. And it was a pitiful time, but we finished and we got the medal. And that's all that matters, right? In that year, I cannot tell you how much I learned about perseverance. I learned an incredible amount. And that resolution did exactly what it was supposed to do. Because from that moment on, I have learned that even when things are difficult, I can persevere and finish the race. I can do it. I just have to keep putting one foot in front of the other. And so I go back to Hebrews 12, one through three. I am a believer. And so if you are not a Christian, um, just listen to this as wise words of wisdom. Um, but if you are a believer, you're going to find a lot of meaning in this. So Hebrews 12, one through three says, therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and let us run with perseverance. The race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. And then there's a little bit, um, dot, 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 uh, consider him who endured such opposition that you will not grow weary and lose heart. And that verse has carried me through a lot of periods in my life, but it has become paramount in my business. And I'll tell you why, because, and I think you probably heard a few things, but I'm going to, I'm going to grab a few words out of that passage and just kind of let you know how they process in my brain so that when you read through this, you're going to see it with new eyes, okay? And remember, I'm a reading teacher, so. <laughs> so the first word that I want to pull out is that we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Now, of course, in the biblical translation, we're talking about angels and spirits and past people and all that kind of stuff, right? In my mind, in my business, my great cloud of witnesses are my friends and my family that are watching me do this, that are supporting me, that are watching me from the sidelines. My 11 year old daughter that's watching her mom build a business from her jammies. Y'all, I'm wearing pajama pants. I'm just FYI, you know? And, and so I'm surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses that are watching me and cheering me on. And so as long as they are there, as long as their eyes are on me and I can hear their voice, I can keep going because they're there. Let us throw off 
everything that hinders us. And here's where I have had to do the most work in my business because you guys, I had a lot of things hindering me. This was an accidental business. I've never been an entrepreneur. I never wanted to run a business. I mean, y'all, I was the person that literally picked something so hard because I kept quitting stuff. Okay, so clearly I got a lot of junk up in here that I had to sort through. And so those things that hinder us, they, they come up and you'll notice it. You'll feel a lag in your business and you need to step back and go, what is hindering me? What do I need to throw off that's hindering me? Is it my fear? Is it my doubt? Is it some naysayer that just got to me? Is it that I need a little bit more personal development in an area? Do I need a little bit more training here or understanding there? What is it? And I think that if you'll do that and really have those honest conversations with, with yourself, dig into some personal training to help you, that you are going to be able to throw off those things that hinder you. And it's not just one thing. It'll keep coming at you and you got to just keep throwing it off. Okay. It's like, um, Harry Potter, I think the last movie, the eighth movie, when he's trying to get the, the thing out of the dish and they're in the cave and all the things are like coming at him, right? So you got to keep throwing off everything that hinders you. I'm a Harry Potter nerd. <laughs> there are a few people like, yeah, yeah, I totally know that. And others are like, I don't have a clue. <laughs> and let us run with perseverance. The race marked out before us. You guys, I truly believe that Plexus is bigger than all of us. I truly believe that it is a race marked out for us. That it is a path to a prize marked out for us. And so we have to run with perseverance when it gets hard, when we slow down, when it feels like our legs weigh a million pounds, we have to run with perseverance. And all that means is putting one foot in, in front of the other. There's a great Martin Luther King Jr. quote that I love, and it says, if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But whatever you do, don't ever give up. And I love that quote. I love, love, love it. I love it. So we're going to run with perseverance. The race marked out for us. And here's my favorite part, because it reminds you of your priorities. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. So, so again, if you're not a believer, you don't have to fix your eyes on Jesus. You can fix it on that thing that motivates you, that you know, supports you, believes in you, encourages you. But fix your eyes on the thing, the one that is going to be there for you, cheering you on. And for me, that's Jesus. For me, that's Jesus every single time that things get hard, that I can go to him on my knees and say, I'm stuck. Things are hindering me. And he says, just keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. You can do this. Come on. You can do this. Just like when I'm in a class and it's a Tabata round of burpees. Oh my gosh, I hate burpees. And I'm looking at somebody and I'm like, come on, you can do this. You can get through one more round. You can push through. You are stronger than you think. And so I want you to just keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. And then finally, considering him who endured such opposition. Oh my goodness. Do we endure opposition sometimes? <laughs> We certainly do <laughs> from, from our grumpy aunt that won't cooperate and just be nice about our business to a back office that just doesn't want to work some days. <laughs> we face opposition, but you guys, again, Jesus faced a whole bunch more opposition than we did. And if he can persevere, we can persevere because he does not want us to grow weary or lose heart. So that's my encouraging word for you today. Do not grow weary of doing good. Do not lose heart. Keep your eyes fixed on the thing that encourages you the most, whether that's Jesus or a family member, and just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and you will claim that prize that has been set out for you. So thank you so much. I always talk a little bit too much, so I'm sorry for going long. <laughs> But Dusty, I appreciate this time so much. Thank you. Oh, we are so grateful. We just owe you a debt of gratitude. and You didn't go over any amount of time. We're all focused in. More people jumping on to listen to what you had to say. Your words were just so powerful. I love nothing more than to hear somebody that was skeptical 
can now passionate and then <laughs> you know I mean everything that you gave to us was really relatable of course I am a believer so everything you said to me just spoke and resonated definitely with me it's literally you're right do not grow weary it's one foot in front of the other and I just I think it's good that you reminded myself and others that we all go through you know seasons of of doubt from other people things that come at us and we think we start to waver and think is this what I'm supposed to do because I feel like I'm being attacked what I know because I am a believer I feel like when I'm being attacked it's the devil getting after me because something great's about to happen so I just <laughs> I truly love everything that you gave us your story your passion you can just hear it just the spewing out of you how much you love what you do. I do. I really, really do. It, it's truly become such a beautiful thing in my life. And, and not every day is rainbows and unicorns for sure. But the ones that are definitely outnumber the ones that aren't. I mean, I am joyful that I get to do what I do, how I do it. It's amazing. <laughs> I always say my worst day in my plexus business is better than any day I had in my corporate office. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. We're on here with some amazing people sharing what we love from our homes. I can look out my window. Earlier, I just posted on Facebook before we jumped on here. My office view, I had cattle running next to me because we live on a ranch in Oklahoma. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, seriously, this beats the view I had out of my office when I have to drive to town. I mean, you're home with your daughter and your family. We see all these awesome faces that are on here. Some of them in ball caps, others sitting at their desk. Some of you are probably in the bathtub. That's why we don't see your beautiful faces on here. Who knows if you're <laughs> at home or wherever you are getting to do what we're doing, right? Definitely. Definitely. Yes. So thank you so much for blessing us tonight. I hope each of you that popped on this call tonight, um, just we're filled up we're given something a reminder tonight i love the testimony because those always fill me up know what the products have done for her health wise and then the personal growth and everything that she's endured as she has went through in her business so it's always such a good reminder so i hope you take everything she said tonight to heart and remember those passages and the um and the great information that she gave us tonight so um as always we want to just close out with a small prayer so guys, um, here we go. So Lord, we just want to thank you for the amazing people that are on this call. We want to thank you um, for Laura. So she, since she jumped on, Lauren, and since she jumped on here and shared her story, gave up her family time to invest in us because she is truly one Lexus. I pray that we all received everything that she said. I pray blessings over every one of our, uh, our businesses and continued growth. I hope we learn to open our ears and our mouths at the proper times. We hope you, we glorify you in everything we do. In your awesome name, we pray amen and amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, amen. Lauren, for your time tonight. It means a lot to us. Thank you so much. You guys have a great night. Bye, y'all.